All right, this is practice, the practice, Algebra 2 practice ELC, question number four. And the question reads, what is the solution, hmm, goodness, can't even speak, that's a good time. What is the solution set for x plus 1 squared equals 49? Well, when you're looking at this problem, one thing that should be an automatic giveaway is typically, and this isn't always true, but typically whenever you have something that's been raised to the second power, that usually indicates how many answers you're supposed to have. And you can look in all of your answer choices and see that both of your answers have two choices. Okay? Well, when you first start solving this problem, you have x plus 1, and again, that whole thing was squared, and that equals 49. Well, we have to start thinking about some of our opposites here. The opposite of raising something to the second power is taking the square root of it, okay? Well, if you take the square root of the left side of your equation, your squared term here is now gone. So it just becomes x plus 1 on the left side of your equation. But we also know that what you do to one side of your equation, you have to do to the other side. So since we took the square root of this x plus 1, we also have to take the square root of this 49 as well. Okay? And again, since we kind of looked at the beginning of this problem and realized that we had to have two answers, when we take the square root of this 49, we also get two answers. We can get a plus or we can get a minus the square root of 49. Well, the square root of 49 is just 7. So now we end up with two kind of separate equations. Okay? One of our equations ends up being x plus 1, and that equals, of course, the positive 7. And then our second equation is now going to be x plus 1, And this time, it needs to equal the negative 7 that we figured out. So now we have this negative 7 here. Okay? Well, now we just need to solve this equation just like we would any other equation. The way we move a positive 1 to the other side of the equation is by subtracting it. Because again, we have to do the opposite of what addition is. So we subtract 1 from both sides of our equation. This cancels out, and we now have x left on the left and that should equal 6. So that should be one of our answers. Okay? And then we now need to do that same thing but work with our equation over here where we had the negative 7. So again the opposite of this plus 1 is a minus 1 and what you do to one side of your equation you must do to the other. So now we have x left on the left and then on this right side negative 7 plus a negative 1 it's going to give us a negative 8. So now that we have these as our two answers, we need to look and see that f is not going to be correct, g is going to be our correct answer, and of course these two are not going to be right. So again, number, uh, letter g is going to be what our answer is going to be. Good luck!